Hi guys, this is Virag from Bionic Buzz and tonight I feel very honored because we are here in Los Angeles downtown in this red carpet. What is unusual in uh, the new wave of the pandemic, most of the Hollywood events are cancelled. So uh, yes, we are very excited, not just because of the circumstances, but because of the movie. What we're going to see tonight is the night shade and um, we are looking forward to talk to some stars on the red carpet. Stay with us and stay healthy. Please share some experiences about the shooting. Some experiences were, I mean, it was just a wonderful time. It was, uh, it was gripping. There was a scene when BJ, Britt, and I have to crash into the pool, and we didn't know that he couldn't swim until about three minutes before. So I took my, uh, all my strength to push him to the side to make sure he was out of it. Um, a lot of surprises, you know, especially with independent film and, and things like this, but we, we, I mean, I can go on and on and on, but it was a great experience. Have a shooting day what you could highlight because it was challenging or funny or uh, what's your favorite? One of my favorites was we did a late night uh, in the pool scene and then we went straight to Roseville in Sacramento the next day and shot soon after, uh, same day. I was, I was out. I was feeling ill. I was, it was altitude. I was in the corner sleeping and I had to shoot right away. So, and I didn't have a choice. They're not going to find a stand in, right? So. When I see the film, it was actually the most relaxing, I thought, effective work that I did just because I had taken whatever was going on in my body and I kind of put it into the text. So I, I was actually surprised about that. It's amazing what the body will do when it's under pressure. Yeah, you mentioned body. So uh, you are definitely take care of your body. And um, I know that you have the best trainer in the world, your dad. Yeah. Um, so uh, when you grown up, did he give you advices acting and I know that he gave a lot of advice to how to take care of your body but uh, did he also lead to you to be an actor? He always supported me being an actor. He has a, a, a severe hearing deficiency uh, from a ear infection when he was about two years old and he would always say if, if I had my hearing you can do it because you have your hearing and you can do this and he always encouraged me. Never put pressure on me to do any sort of betterments in my body, but he was always just a great support system and a pillar for my success. And have you ever felt, just because your dad is, a, you know, everybody knows him, uh, have you ever felt to growing up next to him uh, to be in his shade? It's a problem. I mean, literally to be in his shade. Because in the shadow? He's... Yeah, 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 the shadow. Um, I mean, he's such a massive guy. I'm always going to be in the shadow to some degree. You know, no matter how big I get, he's just always that much bigger. But I like to say that I'm growing in other ways that's going to overshadow him. But, you know, I, I love my father. I support him. He's always been so great. And, I am, and it's, I'm taken aback by the love and adoration that people have for him still to this day. He's working nonstop. He's one of the most uh, prompt, um, dedicated individuals I've ever met. Uh, and he's, you know, he's been successful in, in many different ways. Did you celebrate Christmas together? We did. We did. We had a good Christmas. It was drama-free, surprisingly. Uh, we all got along, uh, and we exchanged lovely gifts, and my dad had, you know, he's just doing his thing. What is your plan for 222? Any New Year's resolution, new project? Hmm. I'd like to travel a little bit, but at the same time, I like making movies. I just made two more. Uh, one's going to be in February, Old Flames Never Die, on Lifetime. Tune in right before Valentine's Day. I play the uh, psychotic boyfriend, but still, you know, give him a chance. Um, and then I just finished in Atlanta a romance novel, film adaptation, called Resisting Roots. That's coming out. And also, um, I have, I'm on an NDA, but I just shot a nice... HBO pilot um, in Tucson, and it's going to be exciting. So, big year. It sounds like your spectrum, acting spectrum, is so big. So, what, any person of you? Uh, I mean, this is this one has got to be it. I mean, it's my first real carrying a picture, and it's it, I play two different sides of a character, and I got to take some chances and make some bold choices that I'm very proud of. So, I hope you enjoy it.